Hello everyone, and welcome to my latest update on Winter Storm Quinlan. On this update, we will be discussing the expected impacts from this storm, as well as the latest timing and intensity. It's looking increasingly likely this storm will go through Bamogenesis, which will bring some heavy impacts to millions. Without further ado, let's talk about this information. I wanted to start off talking about the latest National Weather Service warnings and watches. We have winter storm watches being implemented across the northeastern United States, with a very widespread and broad area under winter weather advisories across the central plains. Winter storm warnings can be found in this pink color as well. Let's look at the timing of the storm. An area of snow will be moving across Kansas and surrounding area for Thursday morning, into the afternoon. Snowfall will arrive in Illinois and Michigan from Thursday evening into the overnight, before the storm starts to take a linear form. By Friday, snow will be falling from the southern plains into the northeast. Then, by Saturday morning, the storm really takes off, bringing heavy snow, torrential rain, and damaging wind gusts from the Gulf states to Maine. One of the biggest threats we will see with this storm is damaging wind. I expect some pretty gusty conditions across the whole east coast as this storm passes, but the area shaded in light purple across a pretty big portion of the northeast is where an elevated chance of damaging wind gusts exists. Some areas could see winds gusting between 40 to 50 miles per hour, with perhaps stronger gusts in some locations. These winds will certainly be capable of bringing down tree limbs, power lines, and even causing blizzard conditions. Here are the snowfall accumulations. A widespread area from the central United States into the northeast will likely see at least a trace to a few inches of snow, across the gray and blue shades. A possible swath of heavy snowfall may stretch from northern Tennessee, where snow could accumulate to about 6 inches or more. The interior northeast could see snowfall accumulations reaching and exceeding a foot of snowfall, with accumulations approaching 2 feet in some mountainous areas. This storm won't be bringing a significant threat of flooding, or freezing rain, so that brings us to the last threat, severe thunderstorms. The first threat day is on Friday, March 11th. We have a marginal risk of severe thunderstorms in place from southern Louisiana into a pretty big portion of North Carolina. A slight risk is in place in the yellow color, from coastal Alabama into southern North Carolina. Another day of severe weather is looking likely on Saturday, March 12th, where we have a marginal risk of severe thunderstorms from the Delmarva region, to southern Florida. A slight risk stretches from central Florida to southeastern Virginia. All of these places will be at risk of seeing damaging wind gusts, large hail, and a few tornadoes. Music